Do you want to install Windows 11 along with Windows 10 on your PC? In this video, you will see how to dual boot Windows 11 with Windows 10 operating system. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. Things you will need. The first thing you will need is to check if your PC meets the requirement for installing Windows 11. Here are the Windows 11 system requirements. You can match them with your system. Then you have to download Windows 11 so you should have a stable internet connection. You need a USB drive with a minimum 8GB capacity or a dual layer DVD with 8GB of space. Let's thank our sponsor Malwarefox for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti-malware software providing protection against adware, spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. Downloading Windows 11 Visit the link in the description. There are three options. You can download the Update Assistant if you want to update your current Windows 10 to Windows 11, but you are going to dual boot, so you have to download Windows 11 and create bootable media. For that, you can either download the Windows 11 ISO or Windows 11 Media Creation Tool. If you choose the ISO option, you have to use a third-party app to create bootable media. The Windows 11 Media Creation Tool downloads the OS and creates a bootable drive, so we'll go with this option. Download it and run it. Read and accept the license terms. Here you get the option but cannot change the edition. The Media Creation Tool will only download Windows 11 as the exact edition you are using Windows 10. Click Next. Select the flash drive option or DVD if you plan to use it. Click Next. Select the USB flash drive. Click Next. It will take some time to download and create bootable media. Create a partition for Windows 11. You can install Windows 11 on any existing partition that doesn't have any running operating system. The partition you choose should not have any data because the installation will delete all of those. If you haven't any such partition, you need to create one. Press the Windows plus R button, type diskmgmt.msc, and hit Enter. Now you will have to shrink an existing partition to create a new partition. The requirement for Windows 11 is 64 gigabytes to run, but you should give it more to update and install applications. So right-click on a partition that has the required free space and choose Shrink Volume. Then enter the size to shrink. If it doesn't have the space needed, you can shrink other volumes also. Now right-click on the unallocated space. Select New Simple Volume. Click Next. Next again. Assign the drive letter. Click Next. Here you can name it as Windows 11 to remember. Click Next. Now click Finish. Install Windows 11. Now restart your PC and open the BIOS settings. You have to press the F2 or Delete or Escape key to open the BIOS while booting. The key to enter the BIOS could be different for your PC. You can search on the internet to know. On your BIOS settings, find the boot priority and set the USB drive to first. Save and exit. Then press any key to start the installation. Select your language, keyboard input method, and click Next. Click on Install Now. On the next screen, you have to enter the product key, which I don't have right now, so I'm going to skip it. Now select the version of Windows 11 and click Next. Accept the agreement then click Next. Select the Custom Install Windows Only. Now choose the partition you have created for Windows 11, then click Next. Windows 11 installation will begin. When your PC restarts, make sure to remove your USB drive. After some time, Windows 11 will start. Enable Dual Boot. 
Sometimes, an option to choose the OS doesn't show up, so you should enable the dual boot. On the start, search for Command Prompt and right-click on it, and choose Run as Administrator. Now copy the command from the description and paste it here. Press the Enter key. Disable the Fast Startup. The Fast Startup might skip the dual boot menu, so you should disable it. On the Start menu, search for Control Panel. Open it. Click on Hardware and Sound. Now select Power Options. Click on Choose what power buttons do. Now click on Change settings that are currently unavailable. Disable the Fast Startup. Save Changes. Choose Default OS. Now you can select the default OS so that when your PC starts, it can boot to your preferred OS. Click on Start and type View Advanced System Settings. Open it. Now click on Settings under Startup and Recovery. Select your default OS. You can also set the time to display the list of the operating systems as per your preference. Click OK. Now your PC is ready with the dual operating system, Windows 10 and Windows 11. Restart the PC, and then select the OS from the list. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.